Throughout chapter four, you can find purple glowing altars. Each of them has a letter on it that you can take. The first altar can be found in Webbed Hollow after reaching the Verger Bridge Shrine. This talisman. Those old rascals. <sighs> On your feet already, are you? Best keep clear of this mess. It's for your own good. Go find the pig before it's too late. The second altar is also in Webbed Hollow, directly in front of the Cliff of Oblivion Shrine. The third altar is also in Webbed Hollow, to the left of the hidden shrine called Relief of the Fallen Lung.
The fourth altar can be found in Temple of Yellow Flowers, directly in front of the Court of Illumination Shrine. However, this purple altar is blocked off by an invisible wall, which goes away after collecting the other three altars. After interacting with all four altars, you will get attacked by the Supreme Inspector Secret Boss. He has a lot of health, but you don't need to fully defeat him, because you'll meet him again, later in the game. After taking some of his health, a cutscene will trigger. The Crane Immortal will talk to you, then you can open the golden container in front of you to collect a celestial non-airy pill to increase your stamina. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content on Black Myth Wukong and other exciting games. Monkey, no matter how many times you reincarnate, you're still blind to the ways of this world. Now, in your folly, you've hindered the dealings of the court. But above that, you've given a girl who knows no limits a false hope. <laughs> I shall transform her into a mighty golden pill and uh, keep it safe for you. Think about her, won't you? Should you feel like stirring trouble in your next life? <laughs>